So in this video, we're going to take a look at how I'm using automation to make all of our show work. Uh, what we're looking at is a Christmas setup, but this is pretty much what we do for a regular uh, Sunday. Uh, the only difference is a little bit of uh, how we're routing the MIDI between all the different pieces. So we're actually running MIDI from our SSL console into this iMac. And on the iMac, we're running QLab, which is a show automation software. We're also running Vista which is our lighting software. And then from here, MIDI comes out and goes to our Waves system. So we're using that mostly to change cues or change keys for the different songs that we're doing. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. You'll see right up here at the top, it says chromatic. The scene that we're in right now, I've triggered a chromatic key for that song. So here's kind of what this looks like. Um, we've got a bunch of scenes set up here. So if I choose, say, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. When I hit go, you'll see the lights in the room change. We don't have the haze going, so we're not seeing our light beams and stuff, but you'll see over here in waves, it changed the key to F. It changed the lighting on the stage, and it moved all the faders and everything on the console. So again, if I come over here and I select the next song, Joy to the World, you'll see again, lights change. Faders moved a little bit, not a whole lot for that song, and it stayed in the key of F because this song is also done in F. So here's kind of what this looks like if we're going to set this up. So you'll see right here I've got this little icon that shows me that these scenes have a MIDI output that they're performing when they're executed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to Here Comes Heaven, the name of this song, and I'm going to route the output. So I have to do an output action, and that output action is MIDI. So hit apply. So now I have to route the output. So the console itself has MIDI jacks on the back of it, but each one of the stage boxes backstage has a MIDI jack on it as well. So we could be triggering things up on the stage based off of the output from the stage boxes. But in this example, from the console, we want to send out the MIDI jack, MIDI jack one, and we hit make to make that route happen. So then I close this. Now I can arm it. In our case, we're using program changes. So a program change on channel two. I've got QLab over here. It's listening to MIDI on channel two. So if I come down here, so any one of these triggers, um, I'm having it listen to program changes on channel two. Now I have to tell it what program to do. And what did I say? Here comes heaven. So here comes Heaven is going to listen to a MIDI cue on Program Change Channel 2, Program 7. Now, here's a really important thing to note, that QLab uses real MIDI numbering. So QLab MIDI cues are 0 to 127. The SSL over here does not. It uses 1 through 128. So whatever cue I want to fire in QLab, I have to set the output cue to be one increment higher to get the right cue. So we'll do that in a second. But inside of this song, here comes heaven, we've got my key change, so it's going to change to the key of G. And when that fires, it's going to send out, out my MIDI output, an iRig MIDI 2. It's going to send a MIDI voice message on channel 4, so my waves set up is listening to MIDI channel 4. QLab is listening to MIDI channel 2. And I'm going to send out program number 11, which just happens to be uh, the key of G. So lighting, this green cue here, L, is how I'm denoting a lighting cue. When that gets fired, it sends out on IAC driver, which is a driver that sends MIDI between applications on the same computer. So it's sending out a MIDI voice, a MIDI show control um, on device ID 2, which is what Jans is set to listen to. It's sending out play cue list 36, play cue number 8. So that's what's happening there. So my trigger for this folder of cues is program change number 7. So I'm going to come over here to the SSL, and I want to send out on program number 
program change, channel two, I want to send out not seven, remember, this is numbered one through 128 instead of zero through 127. So I have to send out program number eight. Always make sure you press apply. I really wish that this button changed colors when I've made a change that hasn't been applied yet, but it doesn't do that. So you have to always remember to hit apply. So now in theory, when I hit go on this cue, we'll see the lights on the stage change. Go. So the lights on the stage changed. We heard the faders down here on the co console move, and this should have changed the key of G, and it did. And we see that everything updated. So that's how we're doing the show automation. And uh, lots more than that goes into the adult musical program. But for a general standard Sunday, this is what we're doing every Sunday. So that's how the setup works.